Hi, and welcome to a new episode of The Young and the Restless. We open up at Newman, and we see Victor is removing Victor's portrait and putting back his up there in the office. Then, I'm like, Victor is such a narcissistic father, I can't help it. And we see as the portrait goes up, Victor gushes at his face, such a narc. Then we see at society, Nate and Vic is at the bar and Nikki, Vic is awaiting Nikki to have dinner. Vic says that the convo she will have with her mom won't be easy and claim that they should be concerned about Victor's health. Nate questions if Vic is genuinely concerned about Victor's health or is she trying to get back at Victor. Then we see Adam is having a drink at the athletic club reflecting on his talk with Victor and laughs out at mem- at the memory then sally asks if he cares to share the joke adam says that there is no joke he's just reflecting on his arguments with victor that he's had over the past couple of months and sally feels sorry that adam and victor is con that victor is constantly breaking adam's heart adam believes that he finally got the woke up call he needed and sally s- doesn't believe it. Adam invites Sally to join him for a drink. Then we see Vic defends that she is concerned about Victor's health to need and complains about Victor demoting her and constantly changing his direction of the company. She calls his behavior erratic. Nate warns Vic not to retaliate against Victor, says it's not good for the company and it may not pan out well for her. Then he wants to talk says that he wants to talk her out of it if she has any plans to do so then we see nikki arrives nate leaves and nikki understands that vic is mad at victor and she claims that she is worried about him then we see nate arrive at newman looking at victor staring at his portrait nate interrupts and then they discuss Vic's reaction to Victor taking over and Victor says that he just felt like taking over again. It's no judgment to how Vic was running the company. Then we see Vic vents to Nikki about Victor demoting her, then express that Nikki should be worried about Victor and his rash and wrong decisions lately. She also vents that he is acting irrationally and says that Victor is not capable of running his empire anymore. Then we go back to the jazz lounge and Sally and Adam discuss Nick being out of town for work. Then we see Sally express concern for Adam drinking a lot and suggest that they have dinner. Sally and Adam go upstairs and they have dinner and discuss the direction and she warns Adam not to set him up, himself up for sale, failure again. Then they discuss her new company and Adam doesn't believe that either one of them will fail. Sally questions if Adam has some game up his sleeves. Then we see at society Victoria continues to convince Nikki that Victor is erratic in his decision making. Nikki says that it's his company he's allowed to do what he wants. Nikki and Victoria asks Victoria how far does she plan to take her concerns, questions if she's up to something and going to the board. Back at Newman, Nate tells Victor, Victor that Vic is just going to need some time to process the change. Victor tells Nate to help make things smooth and help Victor the transition. Victor asks Nate to have a drink and sit. Nate says that he can guarantee that he can persuade Vic and then they discuss that Vic started Victor start Victoria started at Newman in the mailroom. And Victor asks Nate if Vic still deserves the post as CEO. Nate says that he doesn't want to get into the family decisions. Then Victor questions if she still if she will retaliate against him. Then back at society, Vic tells Nikki that she doesn't have a master plan to hold on to her post as CEO. Vic goes on to blame Adam for everything. Then Nikki says that Victor is taking that Victor that Vic is taking Victor's decisions out of context. 
Vic tells Nikki to worry how Newman will affect Victor's health and wants her and Nikki to do something about it. Then we see Adam and Sally at dinner and he doesn't he tells her he doesn't have an agenda and he just he's just excited about the future. They cheers to the new beginning and Sally brags that she is on a design high and she loves that it's just as good as fashion and they laugh and enjoy dinner. They reflect on losing their daughter and they believe that it made them reborn again. Then we see Sally and Adam finish the bottle of champagne and they look tipsy and Adam offers to take her to her door. Sally accepts, then Adam tells her he misses his friend and Sally says that she misses him too. Then we see Nikki goes home and Nikki tells Victor not to get a... No, we're still at society and we see... Nikki tells Vic not to get ahead of herself and let her worry about Victor's health. She tells Vic to stand by Victor's side as the co CEO. Then we see Nate tells Victor that Vic didn't mention any retaliation thoughts, and Victor asks if he would tell him if she did. Nate tells Victor that he is not comfortable being in the middle of him and Victoria. Then we see Victor gets home to Nikki and they discuss Vic's reaction at dinner. And Nikki tells him to delay going back to the office for a few weeks to give Victoria some time to process. And Victor says that going back is an exciting and stimulating idea, but Nikki offers to take him away on a trip. Then we see Vic returns to the office. Then she sees the drinks on the table. She gets mad and she sees the portrait of Victor up. And then she texts Nate to come see her in the office. And she reflects on Victor's talk with her about taking back over the company. Nate comes in and Vic says that Victor doesn't waste time. Nate informs Vic that Victor thinks that she is up to something. And Vic thinks that Nate has chosen Victor's side because he's the big boss. And Nate tells her the revenge idea isn't going to work. Then we end with Sally and Adam at her door. And they kiss. Then they stop and apologize. And they blame it on the champagne and decide to pretend it never happened. Thanks for watching. Bye.